G'day everybody, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today's video is going to be reasonably quick. Uh, we're about to get hammered by a storm as well, so that should be nice. It's always nice to see a storm coming across the lake. What we're going to be talking about is Muller Energy's battery case. Whilst well, so we better get this right, just in case you decide you want to go and have a look at it, uh, a link will be down in the description. Okay. So it's under their DIY section, if you go to their website. Um, it's a cell holder battery bracket. Uh, so it says it works for the 280s, the 304s, and the 314s of the EVE cells. Look, I can't remember whether the, these are EVEs or Lysons or whatever. I'm not sure whether you can hear that storm coming over the top. As far as the size of them, they're 37 by 130 by 195 as the cells that it can hold. Now it was 49 bucks for this. It originally said advertised on Facebook. Generally as a rule, I won't purchase anything linked on Facebook. Uh, but the fact that I'd used Muller Energy before and had a good experience with them. The reason I was so interested in this is I've got 220 amp King's Lithium cells in the caravan. There at the moment, there you can see, getting hammered by rain. And they're just, they were just a temporary thing just to get me going, mainly because of the wiring situation in the van. There is a rat's nest of things going on here. I'm part way through repairing that and then doing an install. With that in mind, what these DIY packs allow me to do is put one battery of 304 amp hours into the place where I've currently got 120 amp hour kings squeezed. So the space in the van for me is quite small. So kings is 17 centimeters. I've got a feeling this is wider. We're 18. Kings is 33 long. This is 31. So once I throw that BMS on, we're going to be pretty close. I think the DIY pack. I oh know once you put the terminals on top of these, the kings would probably actually be taller, but they are same, same. So, with that in mind, I'm looking to make the smallest, most compact battery, whether that be DIY, you know, buying it off the shelf, but the smallest and most compact unit with the most capacity. And these DIY cells are going to allow me to do that. It's chucking it down. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick look at what I've built. The issue I had was when I was putting these together in my format and then putting a box around them to keep them together, to contain them, unfortunately, it looked like it was going to be a little bit longer than the space that I've got to use in there. Um, so what I did was I changed the configuration slightly, not being super happy with it. I still had to resolve an issue that I've got currently with a bus bar. But this was going to make them a little bit narrower. I, I, I could use a little bit of extra length, but I didn't have any extra width. When I put the 120s in there, the King's ones, they did replace 125 amp hour AGMs. Um, despite that fact, they were a real squeeze to get them in. That being said, the AGMs were a real squeeze to get out. I think in this configuration, it's going to be the smallest configuration I can get because you can see there's only a minimal amount of extra material or, or additional to the cells. But what I want to do is get the cells into this, give you a look at what I've built, and then we'll, we'll build this. And then we'll have a look and see how it goes for fitting into the space that we need to put it into in the van. Now, as far as the construction of this, this just feels like ABS plastic. The instructions basically say, take your two end pieces. You've got one there, one there and you've got three individual pieces that separate the cells, and it says just slide them together. I think that is the terminology they use, just slide them together. Now I thought they were gonna slide into each other, um, you know, push them and, you know, prodding them, turning them upside down, turning them back to front. And this is the one thing I don't particularly like about this product, is the way that these join up. Can you see just there behind my finger? There is that tiny little point on only two corners and that is how they join up dexterity uh, and that is how they join up with the next block so just those two little 
points on each corner. So this one has two going this way, this one has two going that way, so you really can't put them together um, in the wrong format. But that's literally all that's holding them together. My cells are currently in this box. Now this was seven mil ply, I think. That was the lightest ply that I was happy to go with to think that that was gonna you know, hold the cells together and hold the weight. Sorry, I bloody cracked my head on the mandarin tree out there. Just out working in the yard, bending over under the bloody, bending over under the mandarin tree. Caught me freaking head. I don't know whether, I know there's, no, it's not too bad. Got me a little bit. I hate it when you're trying to do your plants a favor and they fight back. And the flies are going after it. I need to go on. I know that sounds horrible, but I, anyway. So yeah, so as far as each of these cells just being supported by the weight of those little tabs, I'm, I'm really, and I've got this upside down, I'm really not that content with that. Look, I'm gonna go with it and we're gonna try it. One, because you know, I spent 49 bucks, I wanna see how they work. Two, uh, we need to check it out for the video so I can share it with you guys so you know whether to buy one of these or not. What this cage does allow you to do is you don't need these separating pieces to separate the cells because this, the cage itself is gonna do the separation. Clearly though, there's gonna be slightly more separation with these than there is just having these, I think it's nylon pieces or whatever they are in between the cells. This is gonna be about the same width as the box I've built. So I'm already, you know, within that range width wise that's gonna fit into the van. And I'm saving about a cell's length. So this is already gonna be a much, much smaller package than I could build. Uh, or create out of out of you know MDF and making a box because protection of the cells in the van isn't a requirement for me. They're already protected by the van itself. But I think I want a winner here from just an overall space saving perspective. I just will need to figure out where I want to put my BMS on this. One thing I did do for this build was to just duck up the Bunnings uh, and grab some nice thick cloth tape. Uh, this is 50 mil, so two inch. I've got about 25 meters of that. And I'm just gonna wrap this up to keep those little tabs together and then stop this thing from separating. So these cells are tested, they're ready to go. And I'm content now to be able to put these into the van and let them do their thing. A nice fit uh, as far as the cell goes. You can see there's no real, there's no gaps or anything in relation to that cell. You could, if you wanted to, drop those in. And you know what? I think I am. And you can see that's just gonna fit in there like that. Just give me a little bit of extra protection. Not that I think I need it. It's all going together very, very nicely. And that just presses together like that. I gotta tell you, these little tabs are really, really, really concerning me. I just thought there's going to be some sort of a better locking system for it all to pull together, not just little pieces of plastic. Anyway, that being said, again, it's all going together very, very nicely and it's all cooperating and it's working. So right now I can't complain. That is what it looks like in its final configuration. So the sides are clearly still exposed and that'll be the same on both sides. For 49 bucks, I'm gonna say that that's, it's probably about right, you know. I'm thinking they could probably be a bit cheaper. I don't, I don't know how many they get of these, I don't know whether they produce themselves or they're buying them in. 30 bucks might be more realistic considering how much there is to it realistically. Uh, if they're producing themselves, 50 is probably fine. If they're buying these in from China in bulk and you know got thousands of them, then 30 bucks would probably be more realistic. We are going to just throw our bus bars on. Oh, okay. We are gonna be very tight for tolerances here for these cells, but they are fitting. These are really, really tight with these bus bars. You can see they're almost not lining up. So we have to pull those cells together 
uh, to get those to work, I think. But just to give you an idea, you can see that these cells and these holes for these bus bars aren't quite lining up. If I, if I do squeeze them together, they're okay. So as far as this cage goes, you can now take your, um, your BMS wires and you can route them down the middle. They are like a little hook, so the wires can just hook under that. I do have some wrap that will go on this just to protect those wires and make it look just that little bit tidier. Spiral binding um, for cable up to six mil. And then just take that and wrap that around your wire and then literally just start literally <laughs> wrapping it around your wire. It's not really going to offer them any real level of protection, but it's just going to make it look just a little bit neater. So we'll actually go under these clips here as well <sighs> if that's something you want to do well, I had to just lift that one up and bend it back just to get that in there well, I think you can agree that's a nice tidy little setup so I've just gone around top and bottom with some tape the reason I've gone top and bottom is to try and hold those tabs together those join sections so put some pressure on that top put some pressure on that bottom just to keep them going done three wraps top and bottom if I just put that together I wouldn't want to be picking that up. I think you definitely need to consider some sort of wrap or some sort of restraining system um, on this just to keep these together. It is with trepidation that I lift this thing, I understand. Okay, now that feels, feels pretty good. Obviously there's a bit of weight in it. The, the frame, cage, whatever you want to call it, it's not really offering any additional weight here. If I can find it on the website, I'll let you know, but I, I couldn't see anything there. I am happy with that, um, to say the least. If you're interested in this, you're a 490 owner or you want to see how I get this in and whatever, yeah, subscribe, whatever. If that's what you want to do, I'll just pop back later. And I'll have a video of this installation into the van. Look, the King's 120s, I think that cost me something around 300 bucks or something like that i'll put some links or i'll put some links to where i got my cells from i just get on uh, aliexpress and just order them from there um 304 320s you can get now i think they might be 340s out same sort of form factor around about the 500 bucks then you got to get yourself a bms is what you see here so for around about 600 ish um, odd Australian, depending on the Australian dollar and all that sort of stuff, and when you order them and sales and whatever, for about 600 bucks you can have yourself 300 odd amp hours worth of lithium uh, with a BMS that you can control. Um, so, pretty bloody good deal as far as I'm concerned. That's why I'm onto like my fourth pack. So, so look, at the end of the day, um, I quite like the product. I think 50 bucks is probably a little bit high for what it is now that I've received it. I'd be more comfortable with 30, 35. I'm happy that I spent the 50 bucks on this one to find out. I'll probably buy the extra one to throw in the other side of the van to give myself the 600, but I won't go and put the ones in the Pajero. If they were 30 bucks, yeah, I'd spend 120 bucks on four of them. And then any future battery, I'd spend 30 bucks on and get them slapped in. But 50 bucks, no, nah, probably not. Price point is okay. It's not great, is what I'm saying. It fits together well. I don't like those little tabs. I do like the, I guess, the little hooks here for running your BMS wires under it. It'd be nice if it come up with something to sit your BMS on top. But again, I can 3D print something to sit on top of this or um, whatever. But anyway, so Muller Energy, thumbs up. Only took about four days or something like that to, to arrive. Might not even been that long. And that was my experience with them in the past. So Muller Energy, um, you know, Aussie company, don't even know where they're located, but thumbs up. Um, had a good interaction with them before as far as just ordering it and it turning up nice and quick, uh, and this was no different. You know, if you're into your DIY, um, this is certainly a nice option. If you're into your kinks, but you've got a level of knowledge where you're comfortable in doing this, then I would certainly recommend these as an addition to your DIY pack. Just just to hold them together and make it, you know, a polished sort of product. If you need something, if your cells are gonna be in a situation, if your battery pack 
is going to be in a situation where it's exposed to the elements, you know, rocks and things like that, then you need to put this in something else. And that's all I can tell you. This channel is not about selling your shit, not about trying to make you go out and buy stuff or whatever. When I do my reviews, I just share my experience. I hate being referred to as an influencer. The influencing aspect, that's up to you. If you don't want to be influenced by it, don't be influenced by it. Take the information that I give you, put it in your head, and then make your own decision. So that's it. Thanks very much for stopping by. Whether you'll see me again before Christmas or not, I don't know. Have yourselves all a very Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks for spending the year. I know I haven't been pumping out a heap of stuff. May or may not change in the future. I've got a few products on their way, and I've got a heap of work to do on this. And I've got to do the, and I've got to do, and I've got to do the clock spring in the Pajero as well. So we'll be covering off a few things in the future. Might not happen until after Christmas. But again, in the meantime, have yourself a merry Christmas. Have yourself a safe Christmas. Spend time with your family and friends, and I'll see ya next time. Cheers. I've gone in. I've grabbed the battery pack, and I've brought it out to the van. Uh, and I've stuck it in. I just want to show you that. And the reason I'm just racing out to get this clip now, I normally wouldn't bother, I'd do it tomorrow, uh, but I want to edit this video tonight and have it up. So um, so for you 490 owners, again, more detail coming up, um, but just as far as the Muller Energy battery case thing goes, just want to show you that this is a, I just want to show you that this is a fit where it is. Um, it's very, very tight. It is actually coming out a smidge further, but if I push on it, it sort of lines up with that. So that panel is going to go back on. Now from a size perspective, 490 owners, if you're looking to get a 300 odd amp hour battery in here, I don't think it would have fit with my timber case. So I'm not going to say that I couldn't have done it um, without that Muller Energy frame, but I tell you what, it sure as shit made it a little bit simpler for me. Oh, oh, oh.